Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm going to be talking to you about the vSphere diagnostic tool, VMware Fling. So, what is a VMware Fling? A Fling is a very nifty little utility that is internally developed or provided by the community that does a very cool little job but it's not part of the main product set some of them do go on to become part of the main product others are just kind of very very useful little tools that are there for you to use um, we have our own web page for this flings.vmware.com and you can come in here and browse the flings that are available but we're going to be talking about the vSphere diagnostic tool today which is a great tool that you can use to get some detailed information from your vCenter so New version has just been released. It's an ideal time to, to come and talk to you about this. We've got version 1.1.4. So click on the link here. And you can see I've got the version downloaded there. This is the main page for vSphere Diagnostic Tool. Um, and you can see here we've got a whole bunch of different sections for the information. So the summary will tell you about the tool itself. And basically the, the diagnostic tool is a Python script that you install into your vCenter and it gives you a whole bunch of information that helps you diagnose um, faults. The kind of information is going to be complementary to the kind of thing that you might get from Skyline Health Diagnostics. And if you haven't heard of Skyline Health Diagnostics, that's something you should check out as well. It's a very, very cool um, appliance that you can download and install for free. It's not a fling, it's available through Customer Connect, so you have to have a Customer Connect account to download it. But you install the appliance and it works in offline environments and it basically downloads log bundles and analyzes them against over 250 plugins for security problems, um, for uh, missing patches, uh, there's a hardware compatibility list, um, list scan, a much more granular hardware compatibility list scan than you might do manually, um, and gives you loads of other tips and tricks about what might be going on in your environment and provides lots of helpful links. So go and check that out, but this is complementary to that. Um, so the requirements are that you need a vCenter server appliance 6.5 or newer um, and it's very easy to download, you just tick the box <clears throat> and click download and that will come and download. There we go. Okay, so just save to my downloads folder. Okay, it doesn't take long to download, it's not very long. Um, if you are concerned about the license, it's the technical preview license and that is available to you to read through and explains all about it. It's basically because the tool is free, you know, you have you use it at your own risk, um, but you are free to use it. So let's go over to um, our Win SCP. We need to get this into our appliance. I'm going to connect to my vCenter server. Now it's very important to note. Um, that before you do this, that you make sure you have SSH and Bash enabled on your vCenter server appliance. So just pop into the VAMI port 5480, log in, go to access, and make sure they're enabled here to do that. Um, <clears throat> another thing you need to do is when you create your um, login for it, you need to go into edit and hit advanced and under the SFTP thing, uh, you need to put in this command here, and that is shell user libexec SFTP server. Because if I go in to that, if I just uh, list that directory out, uh, exec, you can see that that is where the SFTP server binary is in vSphere 7. So shell space and then the path, the SFTP binary. Click OK and click Save and then you can log in. Um, while that's happening, just to give credit where it's due, I got the information for that the last little trick from John Borhex's blog here. You can see the URL up here. Um, and it's his, his blog that I got the information from. So let's go back to an SCP and we're connected. We can copy that across. It doesn't take long because it's only 106K. If I go to um, this now, I can see that I've got the VDT zip downloaded. So I'm just going to unzip that. 
Okay, and now I've got a directory that contains all of my VDT files. I'm just going to cd it into that and just show you what's in there. So we've got um, a bunch of scripts, we've got the Python file itself and we've got a readme file. So I'm just going to cat out that readme. You can get all sorts of information about the tools, some detailed things about each of the checks and version information and at the top, <coughs> excuse me, you have got a natty little logo and um, some credits from the guys who wrote it here. So in order to run this you just type Python and then space and then the path to the the Python script and hit enter. <coughs> now it's going to ask me for the SSO password. Some of the um, script test will still run without this but I'm going to run this so that I get a full output doesn't take too long to run and it's going to do a bit of scrolling and we'll see all the things go past and I'll, and I'll scroll back up in a second when we're finished to, to show you what's there. Okay, one of the nice things is that once you're done, the actual report is written to um, Varlog VMware VDT uh, and you can download that so you can just browse through with WinCSB and copy that, that report out. Um, and you've got an, uh, an address down at the bottom here to provide any feedback. So if you've got any ideas for it or any problems, do get involved with these guys because um, they will listen and they will, will try to improve the product. So let's just scroll up a little bit and go through what we've got and what we've just been shown. <clears throat> I'm going to go a little bit higher than that. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. So it tells us the time and the date that we're running the report and the version of the script that we're running. Um, vCenter basic info. So this has got a bunch of information about the, um, the vCenter server environment, how long we've been up, number of CPUs, host name, um, NTP servers, etc. <coughs> and some more information about the SSO domain, and whether we're connected to Active Directory, number of hosts, and some, some other information. <coughs> <coughs> if we scroll down, we've got each, um, each area of check is highlighted in blue and you can see we've got the DNS which shows us some comprehensive DNS testing that's done using the dig command, showing us the entries in the hosts, basic port testing, name server queries, reverse lookups. Um, and, and gives us a pass fail for each of these tests. So we've got the lookup look up service test and we've passed that, shows us the SSO site that we're in, um, the AD information and, couple, and details about all the certificates. Note that in vSphere 7 we've simplified the certificate management for vCenter and we only expose the CA certificate and the host certificate now. The solution use certificates are still there but we don't expose them, we don't expect you to manage them. Um, also useful to know that uh, the certificate APIs are, are up to scratch with the same as the GUI in vSphere 7 as well. So we can see here that all our certificates are okay and um, we've passed, same with our trusted root certificates, our STS certificates, core files, we've um, got no core files dumped out there and we've got some Postgres uh, diagnostic information the size of the database tables and the total database size we've got some disk check information about disk capacity and our inode usage obviously if you run out of inodes you're in trouble but luckily we, we don't have that problem information about NTP what ports are open again with some more useful hyperlinks um, some information about the root account uh, and the vCenter services, so it just gives us a, a, a nice pass fail as to whether uh, we've got any issues with any running services or services that should be running that aren't. Um, some syslog information and information about vCHA. So a nice little script which gives you an easy one-stop shop to get some pretty detailed information about your vCenter server. So use that in, com in conjunction with Skyline Health Diagnostics. And between the two of those things, you've got quite powerful self-health tools to help you troubleshooting and also when dealing with, with your SRs with GSS. Okay, so I hope you found that useful and thank you for watching. Take care.